How's it going everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this Paradox Rift Booster Box. It's finally here. I've actually been kind of hyped for this set, not gonna lie. Um, let me just cut this open since we do have a lot of booster packs to go through, which I'm no doubt gonna remark about multiple times in this video, um, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. 36 booster packs. So we must get on. Let me just do something like this, if I can do it. There we go. There we go. So now we can lay them down right here and grab the first one. So this set, this set might actually be um, for me personally on the same level as Paldea Evolved because there is so many bangers you can pull in this one. I mean, just the, the special illustration. Hang on, let me zoom in. There we go, so we can actually see the card properly, so we've got a gibble. So yeah, as I said, this is, for me, this is on the same level as Paldea Evolved. There are so many bangers in here, and also these ones, these Ancient and Future cards, which I'm sure we're gonna pull a bunch of. Mine and Ante Latios, yo, Gen 3 up in this. Gen 3 wrapping, that looks really weirdly printed, but there you go. Here is the code card. Um, what I mean by on the same level as um, Paldea Evolved. Like, there are so many good cards you can pull in here. Um, actually similar to Pokemon 151, although the pull rates for Pokemon 151 were atrocious. Well, they, they still are. But what, what's in there? I mean, the chase card that I would really want to pull is the Iron Valiant EX. But that isn't, that isn't the only one that's like really, really cool. There's of course the um, Roaring Moon. You have the Golden Go. You have also Altaria. Um, I was I was gonna get to these, to these illustration rares. Um, here we have Iron Moth. Very, very cool looking in my opinion. Very, very cool. So this is a very good pull. And the, um, of course, the special illustration that's gonna continue there. Um, a lot of full art trainers, a lot of good of full art trainers. You don't know, I do love collecting those. So we do have, we have Professor Seda, we have Professor Turo. We have, what else do we have? Um, we have Norman in, as well, you know, a gym leader from Generation 3, so that's always nice to get. We have um, Parasol Lady, which I'm which I'm not too fond of. Um, Rika, I really want to pull Rika though. Um, really want to pull either Professor Seda or Professor Turo. Um, Mela. That's another one that looks really, really cool. Like, the special illustration rares are, they are so stacked in the set, similar to, to, um, Paldea Evolved. There you go, Code Card. And in terms of playability, from what I've heard on, on Twitter and everything, um, Iron Hands EX, which you can pull out of this set, um, in terms of playability just now, um, that is supposed to be a really, really good card. So there's also playability, um, in this set. Um, Tulip, that's another really cool one. Like, there are so many special illustrations. Oh, yeah, Chantal. There you go. They're all, they're all coming back to me. And that's not it. Here we go. Toxicity EX. Very, very nice. Our first EX card. We'll put that over here. And here is the code card, of course. Let's talk about the illustration rares in this one. As we've pulled the, the Roaring Moon. And the illustration rares in here are also insane. I mean, we have... Well, as I've said, the, um, well, not the Roaring Moon, the Iron Moth. There you go. The Iron Moth. Um, that looks really cool. We also have the, the, or two of the, of the illustration girls that I really wanted to pull from Raging Surf. Which I didn't, unfortunately, which is the Groudon, of course. And the, um, the Aegislash. I hope I can pull, um, one of those in this episode, at least. Um, the Aegislash I really, really want to show off. Because that's a new artist. In, in the Pokemon space. Um, not a new artist by any means, because that artist previously worked on, on like the Legend of Zelda franchise. And you can definitely see the the influence in in their illustrations. And it looks really, really good. What else is there? I guess the Puzzle and Minen. And like so, so many more. So this is basically a really good set. Honestly, I'd probably recommend opening this one over Pokemon 151, since the pull rates for Pokemon 151 are actually horrible. Um, I got really lucky. I got insanely lucky with my Ultra Premium collection. But hey, that's just me. That's my thing, you know. I get lucky opening Ultra Premium collections, which which is actually funny. I, I thought about opening the, um, the Zashian and Zamazenta Ultra Premium collection, you know, the other one with the golden cards. Um, 
problem is, first of all, they're very expensive. Second of all, the packs you get in those are actually really bad. Like, you don't even get um, battle styles, I'm pretty sure. And battle styles was the first sword and shield set that actually included alternate arts. So there's no chance of pulling alternate arts from, from those boxes. So for that price, I'm probably gonna pass. Probably gonna pass. Um, I don't think there are any other ultra premium collections. Oh, there is no, no, no. There is the um, the Arceus one, although that is kind of difficult to get a hold of in Europe, because I'm pretty sure that was a GameStop or Amazon exclusive or something like that, and very expensive over here in Europe. But you know, I might, I might um, open one of those at some point. Um, we've hit a dry streak here, unfortunately. Nothing pulled, so this one, this one will have something in. This booster pack will have a, um, an alternate art in. There you go. Or special illustration rare. There you go. I should do that before every booster pack, because then if I, if I make a shorts video out of it, it looks very, very cool. And people think I'm clairvoyant. So let's see if I'm right here. Spinda, very nice. Got an Alec kit. Wak Trio. Technical machines, those are in here. Iron bundle. I've got Rika. Hopefully I can pull Rika. And, okay, it's not a... Okay, so it's not a special illustration rare. Um, but it is Tapu Koko. I did pull this in Raging Surf, I do I do remember. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I did. I did pull this in Raging Surf. So this is the, the English copy of that. Um, at least we've pulled something. So that's not too, too bad. Um, I'm still thinking, I'm still hoping, well... As I've said in so many other um, English booster box opening, nothing is promised in English booster boxes. Nothing is promised. But generally, as a rule of thumb, I think you can expect three illustration rares and then at least one um, special illustration rare, at least with these Scarlet and Violet boxes. Uh, that's just what I've noticed from the very limited booster boxes that I've opened, which is three, actually. Was it three? It's Scarlet and Violet base set. Oh yeah, and then um, Paldea Evolved and then Obsidian Flames, which brings me back to, to comparing Paldea Evolved and this fact, uh, and this um, set for a fact, to um, Oblivion Flames. Um, and this is just so much better than that set. Like, in terms of, let's just let's just look at the um, Obsidian Flames, not Oblivion, <laughs> Oblivion Flames. Now let's look at Obsidian Flames as a, um, from a collector's perspective, which is, oh, a Hoopa, okay. Hold the phone. We've got our first very, very cool pull, a Hoopa EX. Very nice. Does that have a print line? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, this is pretty cool. Very nice. Our first proper pull. So in terms of, of collectability um, for Obsidian Flames, the only, the only card you would really want to pull is one of the Charizard EXs and probably the... Let's just call it alternate art or special illustration rare. That's the one you want to pull. I still want to get that at some point because I think it looks pretty cool. So I still want to get that at some point. But yeah, that's like realistically some of the 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 card you want. I, I can't really think of anything else you would want from that set. Maybe I'm not remembering it. I'm probably not remembering it. Um, What about full art trainers? What kind of full art trainers were in that set? I really, really can't remember. Hmm. Maybe there weren't any good ones in there. Um, that brings me back to Paldea Evolved. You know, Paldea Evolved also had insane trainers. Um, just like the special illustration rares, you know, with the with the three Scarlet and Violet starters, or the full evolutions, and this, the, the pre-evolutions as illustration rares for a fact. Meow Scarada, we have um, Skeledurch and Quaquavel. And those ones were really cool. And then there were, were a bunch of others. And full art trainers, you know, Paldea Evolve gave us the Gremlin, the Gremlin called Iono. Speaking of Gremlin, um, here she is, the normal one. I did pull this off stream, or not off stream, off camera. Um, the one time I pull, I open something off camera, and the air, I just pull that, of course, naturally. Um, I'm probably going to send this into grading at some point. Um, I'm probably going to wait until I have 25 cards again, which will take me probably like at least two years, just like it did last time. Or like one and a half year. So we'll see when I send this in. I also have a different card um, there. I also have the the Zoro from OP1, from Japanese OP1, which is actually, I actually thought it was pretty cool to open. I mainly just open it for Shanks, 
because Shanks is my favorite One Piece character, even though I don't, I don't watch it anymore or read it anymore. Like the last, the last um, arc I've seen was, I think, the ending of the Impel Down, or not Impel Down, the um, the arc, uh, the prison arc. You know where they try to rescue Ace, but he has been moved to the Marine Fort, and I saw the end of of the prison arc, and that's it. I didn't actually see the war or anything further. And I, at some point, I do want to rewatch it, although there is so many episodes. Oh, Groudon, nice. Gen 3 Pokemon up in here. I'm hitting a bit of a dry streak. Maybe all of our pulls are on the left side. Um, let's see how many booster packs we have left. We have two booster packs left on, on the right side. So let's open them in order. The Iron Valiant first, and then the the um, Roaring Moon. I always want to say Ancient Roar, but no, it's Roaring Moon. Pharaoh Seed. Of a gibble. That also think looking at it, it looks kind of similar to, to Mega um Salamence. A little bit similar, Palkia, very nice. Ooh, a toad scroll. Here's another cool um illustration rare. Nice. Oh, an iron jugulus. That looks I hope I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. That looks um like a machine version of Hydragon. Very, very cool. Um to this day. I hate to admit it, I still, I haven't played Scarlet and Violet, and I'm really ashamed to say this, I still haven't finished Sword and Shield, which is, which is hilarious, because I actually, actually like Sword and Shield, maybe I should finish that on stream, although I have different things planned, um, if everything goes well, I might have been able to finish the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the Platinum, Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke as we speak, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what's after that. I have a few, few things planned. Oh, a Golden Go. Here's a full art. Golden Go EX. The special illustration rare for this one also looks, looks insane. Um, which I really, <laughs> another card I wanted to pull from Raging Surf. I did get the, the guard chomp. Okay, let me get rid of the, the booster box. And just have the raw booster. Look at that. Look at this pile of booster packs. Man, we still have so many to go through. Okay, let's just start it off with the Garchomp one. Um, so far, I mean, we've pulled two full arts, I guess. The Hoopa EX, um, I guess that counts as a full art as well. I really do hope we get... Um, we still have a chance to get the special illustration rare. I really hope we still we still get one. Because not getting a special illustration rare, that would be, that would be kind of upsetting. But here we go, Zarina. Another EX card. Put that over here. And here is the code card. Those look very weirdly printed. Also, apparently there are error boxes for Paradox Rift. Although maybe that was a one-off. Someone posted it on Reddit the other day. And I think they pulled 36, um, whatchamacallit, full arts. So that was kind of crazy. Maybe they're the same type of error boxes that existed with Fusion Strike as well. You know, Fusion Strike, for all its faults, it did have some crazy, um... Whatchamacallit, some crazy error boxes, where basically I think every single pull would be a random or a rainbow rare, either a trainer or a Pokemon, and that was kind of insane, I would have loved to get one of those. Apparently they were only distributed um, in Canada, there was like a, um, a special code which helped you identify them, but they were very very rare in between. Um, Error boxes usually don't happen, although in Crown Zenith, um, specifically the German Elite Trainer Box for Crown Zenith, apparently that had a chance to be an error box and it contained like a lot of the, the Pikachu secret rare, you know, the full art. That is in Japanese actually a very expensive promo. Apparently that was a thing in, in the German ETBs. Yveltal. It in there. So yeah, error boxes don't really happen. Um, I still haven't figured out, you know, I have the, the Zashian V, or no, the Zamazenta V with the with this texture error. I actually still haven't figured out how rare something like that is. Um, from what I can, I can tell though, like texture errors or errors in general on Japanese cards are very, very rare. Um, the only problem or quote unquote problem is the card isn't really that popular. If it wasn't Zashi, it might be a bit better, but if it was... Oh, Parasol Lady! Yo, okay. Our special illustration rare is... This might actually be the best full art trainer you can pull in this set. Um, 
It is the best cut you can pull from Raging Surf. Um, I don't know if this is the best one in English. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, but that is very cool. Um, it is a cool looking card, although I'm... Um, I hate to say this, I'm not too hyped about the card. But it does look beautiful, I have to admit it. The rainbow in the background as well and the glitter. Yo, okay, this looks really, really cool. Very, very nice. Let me sleeve this one up. There you go. Sleeve this one up and put it off screen and then we'll continue on. We still have a bunch of booster packs left, but I guess I guess that does it for, for our special illustration rare. Um, once again, nothing is promised in English booster boxes. Technically, we could pull two, um, two special illustration rares, but that that's not going to happen. I've opened so many Sword and Shield booster boxes as well, and uh, sometimes you don't get a um, don't get an alternate art. And I have never had a booster box, never in my life, that had two alternate arts, or even in Japanese, never had a Japanese booster box that had two super rare hits, which is. Maybe that's just an urban legend, you know, these urban legends that people just tell you. And that actually don't turn out to be true. Maybe that's just an urban legend that, that Japanese booster boxes exist that have two super rares. Or maybe they just, they just, uh, misremembering things because for, for like high class sets like V-Star Universe, um, it technically was possible and especially, um, no, it's V-Star Universe. V-Star Universe, that was true. Because you could sometimes get a um, a second hit, you could maybe get a um, an SR, or you'll for sure get an SR, and then sometimes you also get an SAR. Also, I would love to pull a God Pack. That's the that's the only thing I haven't done in in Japanese collecting as well. I have never pulled a God Pack, and I've opened I've opened a ton of of V Star Universe and V Max Climax, V Max Climax even more so. Um, we'll see. Maybe we can we can rectify that with this year's high class set, which will release December first, very very early. Um, I'm still kind of hyped about it. There is of course the the Charizard, although as people have pointed out, they've always done it with with the shiny um, high class sets. So yeah, as people have pointed out, they've always done it with these um, high class shiny sets specifically. You know, shiny star V. They always take the the normal full art of a Pokemon, in this case Charizard, just like the last time. Wait, hang on. It's almost like Charizard is popular or something. Um, they take the, the normal full art and then just recolor it to, to make it to make it shiny. Um, I think what bothers me most though is the crown. Um, usually I don't buy- Oh, Mantike! This is a really cute one. This is a super, super cute one. I saw a Reddit post earlier, so or earlier this card, someone made like a, a light version of this with like a with like a warm light and then a cold light. It actually looks like it's nighttime or or daytime, depending on which light you shine on it. This is this is really really cool. Okay, nice. That is our third art rare or illustration rare. So many different terminologies for all these cards. At the end of the day, they are the same thing though, just in different languages. I think that does it for for the main pulls though. Um, we could, we should still get a few EX, or we could, we could still get a few, a few normal EX cards, so that's a possibility. But I think that does it for the, for the main pulls. The illustration where three illustration rares have been pulled. We have the, the special illustration where we also have two textured cards, with the golden go and the hoopa. We have an iron moth, very cool. I think that does it. Maybe we can pull an iron hands. I thinking I'm thinking that would be pretty good because uh, that is supposed to be very very playable very playable all right let's see what we have here Joltik Joltik Natu we have a Remorate we have a Pumpkaboo just in time for for um oh no it's a bit late to um to Halloween it is a bit late Man, it, it, it just goes by so fast, just one single day, and then you have to wait another another year. But here we go, Roaring Moon EX, just as I predicted. We have one more normal EX card. Um, we should maybe, or we could get one more. One more normal EX card. Um, which one would I want? Iron Hands? What else is there? Um, Altaria? That could be kind of cool. Maybe Sandy Shocks? We'll see. We'll just let the let the booster pack surprise us in what we get. 
Um, probably take Altaria because that's a Gen 3 Pokemon. And as you know, I do love Gen 3. My favorite generation. Gimme Ghoul. Got a Toad School. Adding a Vuxian. Here is the code card. Gen 3 best gen. Don't at me. I mean, it is the best gen for me personally because that's mainly just the one I... I grew up with the most. I did play the first one. I, I actually started with Pokemon Yellow. I still remember this, and I couldn't figure out how to leave how to leave buildings. And I had to I had to get my mom to help me. And then it was and then I then I got it down. Um, that was really cool. And then I played a ton of gold and silver and crystal. But then as Gen 3 came around, that's that's the generation I played the most. And that's why, for me personally, that is the best generation. That's just the one I I love the most, and the one I played the most. Um, I am still hoping for a Gen 3 remake, although with with Alpha Sapphire or Omega Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, there you go. And with those two not being too old, um, I don't think there is a chance we ever get a Gen 3 remake. Although, what I would love to see from the Pokemon Company, I'd love to have them revisit older generations. You know, just just make a game that's set in like Johto, and just make it like ten years later. Like everything's changed and and everything, new Pokemon and new gym leaders or some new gym leaders. Maybe age them up a bit. You know, the ones that were in the original ones. That could be pretty cool. I would I would love if they did that, especially for Generation Two, because if they ever gonna do it for Generation Two, they might fit in well Generation One as well. As the as the original games did, um, that's also by the way that's also a um, a game that's maybe up to stream. I have a ROM a ROM hack that I really want to try. Um, it's called what is it called Silver Storm or or something like that. I think it's called Silver Storm. A ROM hack for um, Soul Silver, which is apparently kind of difficult. Not on the level of Emerald Kaizo, but I think it would be a nice challenge to do on stream. We'll see. I'll have a poll up anyways, just to see what people would like to see, and then we'll go on from there. Then we go on from there, or maybe just, you know, throw in the, the very odd, like, Generation 2, 2 game, like Crystal, and just try to do a randomizer Nuzlocke on that one. Maybe that's something that's also that's also doable, but we'll see. I'll, I'll figure something out for the stream. And let's- Oh my god, we still have another pull in this one! I was wrong! We still have a Professor Sadus Vitality in this one. And this is a cool one. This is a really cool one. Um, the special illustration rare of this one is also really cool. Yo, okay. We still have one. Let me just throw- show off the code card right here. Put these cards over here, and then we'll we'll look at this up close. There you go. Yo, that looks really really cool. Let me get a sleeve for this one because this is actually kind of special. Whoops, sleeve went all over the place, and it's upside down. Okay, there we go. We've pulled two two full art trainers. The best two cards that we've pulled in in this opening are full art trainers. I can't be mad about that. I can't be mad about that. Okay, three booster packs left. Let's see if we can get something else. I, I think that might have been the the last pull that we're going to get in this one. Although, I would be happy to be surprised, you know? I would be happy to be surprised. You got an Apalm, a Pan Sage, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. There you go. That's a mouthful. Professor Turo Scenario. I actually prefer Professor Turo's um, special illustration where over Professor Sados. Nice, a reverse rail. That looks actually really cool as a reverse. Counter catcher, we've got a Zekrom. Nice to, to see that Zekrom gets some love. Nice to see that. I'm hoping to get a, um, for future sets, hopefully we get a Rayquaza EX, a new one. I do love Rayquaza. I love Rayquaza almost as much as I love Mew. But Mew is still my, my number one. My favorite Pokemon. But Rayquaza is a close second, not gonna lie. Rayquaza would be really cool. At some point, it's probably going to happen. I mean, Rayquaza is really popular. Though it's probably going to happen at some point. Kingdra. Or maybe some, some Gen 2 Pokemon. So, uh, let's see Gen 2 Pokemon get some more love. Um, that, that's the only difficult part with so many new Pokemon. It's very difficult to, to make it right for everyone. 
uh, some Pokemon are just gonna be left out. And that, that sucks. Here we go, last pack. Can we get something in this one? We shall see. We've got a Minon, Porygon 2, Mian Chao. We've got a Rika, Professor Seda again. We've got a Zekrom, a Vanillite, and a Golden Go EX. Nice. A normal EX at the end here. Okay, so we did get a final pull in this opening. Very, very nice. Here is the code card, of course. Okay, well, there you go. That was my opening of Paradox Rift. Um, this might actually be the the best full art trainer you can pull in this one. It was the best in Raging Surf, and this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I might trade this in for, for some other cards, though. Uh, mainly, probably, the Altaria EX and the, um, whatchamacallit, the Iron Valiant. Um, I don't actually know how much this is, but this is cool. Well, but anyways, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. And right here is the video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the sub button. You should click this one first and you should click this one. Maybe check, some, check out some videos in the description below. And I hope you enjoy your stay and I hope you return for more. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.